Hi, everybody. Um, just a couple of quick things here. Thank you for taking this journey with me. And just for all of you who don't know this, this journey is really about love. And you're going to find out that those loved ones that have left this physical plane, uh, that connection of love is a continuation. So it's important to know that. Now, uh, just real quick here, I tend to get names. And I tell people, don't just listen to people's names that are dead people, because they are often identified by living people that are connected to them. Uh, and I tend to get things really, really quick. If you think it's for you, it's better to say something as opposed to not to say something, because you never know. Because I could be over here, and I could hear it at the same time. And what happens is that people on this side I will push the people away on that side and sort of like come back and forth. So that's all you kind of like need to know here. Um, I'm over here really, really strong here. There's a son that's passed. I don't know if he's connected to you or somebody who's connected to you, but I'm getting somebody who lost a brother or a son. Uh, stepdaughter. Stepdaughter. She's the one that's passed? Yeah. Yes. And was there a male connected to her here? Mm. Would there be a brother? There is a brother, yes, yeah, but he's still alive. That's how she identifies. Ah. Yes. Okay. And she's connected to you? Uh, yeah. Yes. So, Are yeah. you connected to her father? I'm married to her father. Uh, that would take, that would make sense. That would make it? sense. Yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. yes. Because she's jumping up and down. Oh, okay. And she says you need to tell daddy that I was here today. Oh, okay. All I'll right? Do that. Now, you're married to him still? Yeah. Okay. Then I want to ask you this, please. She's telling me there's another male that's with her, like a father. Uh, son. Oh, that's the son. Yeah. That's my son. Okay. Do you see how that comes? Yeah. See, all these people have sort of showed up to gay? Yeah. Now, um, was she living with you and her dad? No. Okay. Because she's showing me this. When they show me this, it usually means emotional difficulties. Oh, yes. <laughs> a bit of up and down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and I believe this is prior to her passing. I'm sorry, there was This a... is prior to her passing. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you need to tell Daddy that my life is no longer up and down. Oh, good. That okay. I'm very much happy and at ease. Good. Okay. All right? It comes as quite, quite important. Oh, very. Very important. Because mm. um, she says my father is quite still a bit worried about this. Okay. And he holds on quite a bit of this. Mm. Um, but he will share this with you. Okay. Now, her mom is still here? Yeah. Yes. Is she still in contact with her dad? Yes, to a degree. To a degree, okay. Because I feel, I feel like because of her life like this, mm -hmm. it's important to share to the family mm -hmm. that she's finally happy. Good. Yeah, Earth was not kind to her. Yeah, not kind. Um, sometimes the, the sensitive ones don't do well on the Earth plane. <laughs> And that was quite very much mm -hmm. uh, her. And, um, and I think her father tried to write it. He did his best. He did his best. Mm -hmm. um, and it's hard. We can't always make the people that we love happy. Right. And, uh, but he did a fine job at Oh, fine. yes, he did. But mm -hmm. she wants to let the family know that she's at peace now. Good. And that comes as really important. Thank you. You're really welcome. Um, I think always the most important thing is you know that, and you know that, that they're in our heart, they're always in our heart, and that, um, and that, 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 that continuum is the continuum. But I want to say this because I think it applies to everybody in a lot of ways, but certainly to some of the things here, is that your loved ones, they may not be able to walk your path, um, but they can help you walk it. And those folks that have passed over are not focused on the way you are or where we are here about death. They know you, want to know that, and they want you to be able to heal yourself in that process. And I think that that's the most important thing. And um, I always sort of say, you know, keep in mind that the word courage lies in the base of the heart and that nothing, not even death, separates us from love.